The game between Magnus Carlsen and Ali Reza Firuzja ended in a draw in what long seemed to be a stylish Carlsen victory. The percentages gave Carlsen a winning advantage in large parts of the party, the chess star then ended up throwing away a completely won position, after ending up in a time drama for the second day in a row. The Norwegian was clearly upset by the result. Such positions must be won. But it is a tournament for me. You saw it both yesterday and today. When you first start to feel uncertain with a bad time and your confidence drops, very strange things can happen, commented Carlson about the main event after winning in Armageddon that he still believes there is no danger that the poor form will continue. It's about getting the ball into the goal, and now I've failed. Along the way, Carlson had a completely one position on the board. 19-year-old Firuzja nevertheless created counter chances. A decisive mistake meant that the percentages shot in Firuzja's favor, and Carlson was suddenly in danger of losing. He finally managed to salvage a draw. It was scant consolation for the Norwegian, who not long before had held a completely dominant position. Check out the breakdown of this game and don't forget to follow us. Thanks a lot. Yes, so let's watch this game. Magnus Karasen has a white pieces and Alireza has black pieces. My name is Petr and I hope that you are going to enjoy this video and this position. Magnus played a really interesting lines in the opening because if I'm going to show you this game since beginning for one more time. So I think that bigger surprise is a move bishop d3 and I can't remember since last time I saw play somebody from top chess players this lines. So bishop d3 is a first big big surprise and the second surprise is move g5. This is absolutely a crazy move and you know, don't speak about theory with me now because this is a original and unknown position and bishop b5 is the answer. So bishop g7 and after this exchange maybe d4, it's interesting line. I think that uh, this position uh, looks like dangerous position to black. Hopefully you agree with me, but uh, there was only variation. We coming back to our main line and after move d3, g4 and h5, this is absolutely double edge position where everything is possible and you know it's hardly to count all variations and to have a clear conclusion if black is mad or white is madness. So knight b3, d6, f4 and now finally bishop d2. Maybe it looks like uh, both players are now calming down and they are ready to play normal standard chess, you know positional chess because bishop d2 make sense. Uh, but uh, black took on b2, bishop a5 and now knight d2 and it's absolutely clear to understand that this bishop it's much more important than a rook on a1 and now i'm going to show you variation what's happened if black is taking rook on a1 it's a mistake to believe that this is a good move because yes all dark squares Black king in the center and too many weaknesses giving white clear edge. Even um, black is up exchange. So maybe knight g6, queen g7 and now knight c4, f5 and you know it's absolutely clear here that uh, black's got huge problems and i think that this position uh, seems to me like lost position for black black's king in the middle of the game in the middle of the board is doing only bad things to black's army and black's player so that was the first reason why it's good to believe that to take um, Rook on a1, it's not good and for this reason I understand why black played bishop g7 and now queen e1 and rook d1. 
I think that move a5 is on the air and uh, white is going to open position. Yes, in open position your good pieces are even stronger and better and a5 has to be played. For this reason black now is going to play immediately a5 and you know this position is absolutely crazy and it's uh, it's it has to be fun to play this position, but uh, maybe it's uh, difficult to understand everything what's going on. e5 and knight g6, knight c4. Uh, maybe to take on d6 makes sense because, you know, watch these double pawns. I am clear, I understand that these pawns are weak and knight c4, another double pawns. And, um, uh, maybe this position it's not bad for white and even it's not bad for black I have to move e5 and still this is unclear a really unclear position and <laughs> everything is possible and nothing is impossible so I'm coming back because uh, last time we saw move knight g6 and now uh, knight c4 happened exchange exchange and d5 finally Finger cross, this position is going to be maybe less messy and maybe much more um, understable than before. And um, black lost a pawn and queen c8. How is how to how to evaluate this position? Uh, maybe still we are looking level position with both chances for both players because you know. Everything is possible, and uh, white's pawn weaknesses, black's um, king in the middle of the board, you know, too many chances to play and too many hopes to believe that uh, we are going to watch a winning game. No, no way at the end it will be draw, but it will be fascinating draw, and I hope that you are enjoying this position. Uh, knight b3 and now short castle is probably a mistake. Uh, looks like bishop f8 and now c5 is the best way how to play this position. Okay, I'm coming back because uh, now um, black missed a bishop bishop b4 and bishop d6 and that's a different and you know this is a clear finally clear advantage for white bishop on d6 is doing amazing job and knight from b3 is jumping one day to d4 or c5 and these two very well placed minor pieces are giving black nice <laughs> nice problems i mean are giving white nice advantage so queen a6 and queen c3 now magnus is playing like we know him before so this is a beautiful position for magnus carlsen and probably this is uh, not far uh, not far from um, a winning position because this position has to be hard to play for black and Magnus Carlsen know how to play this position what's happened maybe c5 is the best move and um, that was a good chance. I'm going to show this variation, bishop c5. It's a mistake to take on c5, because here is a, is a piece, of course. Uh, after this, there is a queen as well, and uh, this is a not a good option. I mean, this is a blunder, of course. So c5, it was a good chance to maybe complicate it more, this position, but uh, rook d8 happened, and now c5, of course. White's got beautiful advantage. Bishop on d6 is doing great job and knight b3 is jumping to d4. Only one open file is b file, but uh, b file has knight advantage, advantage for white because b8 is under um, white's dark squares bishop. So looks like black has a uh, huge difficulties and you know everybody is looking forward to see Magnus Carlsen winning game against Alireza Firuja so bishop h6 happened and g3 of course no counter attack no counter play at all bishop uh, now rook d7 and rook f7 rook b1 and queen d3 step by step move by move uh, white is 
improving his position and Black is falling deeper and deeper in uh, bigger and bigger problems and this position is nearly at the end of Black's hope to hold because uh, Magnus if he's got a form and a good day is able to win 10 from 10 dispositions but this is not the day of the Magnus Carlsen and that's a question what's up with Magnus Carlsen because Magnus Carlsen is not going to able to win this game and that's a big surprise you know good position and I saw 100 and 100 games uh, maybe not such a great like this and Magnus was winning these games now he is not able to win this game so Queen a4 and a3 a5 and now uh, rook d1 exchange exchange and bishop f4 great decision of young alireza firuja who is going to sack uh, peace but what else you know if black is sitting and hoping there is no hopes if black is sitting and dreaming there is no dreams so uh, something has to be happened and now this is a brave and pr probably the best answer and uh, the counter attack is really important so knight on f4 finally is doing a good job and it's a danger knight to white after this exchange a4 rook b4 and rook h7 yes of course uh, if we are absolutely clear white is winning and black's got no chances at all but this position is still complicated and um, the best way how to play bad position is to complicate it positions and that's exactly what Ali Reza is doing and he, he is playing messy position because he knows that this is only his last chance and the uh, only best way how to play this position so yes white should win black has to complicate it and hope for um, chances and that's exactly happened and you know for a second time i am surprised that magnus carlsen is not able to win this position okay so now rook f1 i think that the best way here is to take on c6 some check and uh, this um, looks for me like simple winning position because uh, past c5 Pawn is going to c6, c7 and c8 and that's uh, nearly game over. But uh, Magnus Carlsen is going to miss another chances and here is a check on h3, knight g5 and knight e4. And yes, uh, let's watch this knight. This is a beautiful place knight giving uh, blacks big hopes to survive. Yes, of course, here is a, here is a pass pawn going fast in German language schnell uh, <laughs> jumping to c8 but still black is looking for counter attack and uh, Magnus now is playing big big blunder okay winning move is knight e7 and here it's a simple winning position I'm going to show you a few moves and c6 c7 and of course mm, because of this uh, c6 pawn white is winning this is a simple variation and you know i'm big surprised that magnus carlsen was not able to see this and unfortunately for him he took on e4 and you know this is not enough to win this game because even it looks like yes uh, white is winning because strong passer on c6 is not winning at all because uh, um, because here um black's got beautiful beautiful variations so uh, now check on h3 f3 take take and even there is nearly queen be careful there is a another checkmate threat so here and maybe f2 is a check is a chance uh, how how to put white in the big problems maybe knight f4 but i'm going to show this variation that this is not easy winning variation at all for for white but okay maybe both players were tired now and check on g2 of course not good idea to go to f4 because here is a big big problems for white but of course uh, Magnus saw it and uh, this game is going to be a rubbish game at the end. Yes, uh, Magnus missed empty goal. 
and I'm surprised that Magnus was not able to win this position at the other side. Say well done to Ali Reza because he was able to complicate the difficult position at, at the end because of his strong counter attack. He won a chance to save this game and that was the story about this game. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if yes, um, thank you for every likes and follows and I'm going to see you here, here, you in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you and bye bye.